Mount Rushmore of pussies. Coleman. Coleman's. Coleman. Uh, uh, uh. Coleman. Welcome back to another episode of Mount Kirkmore. We got Chris Bethewin and Dr. Vodka, along with McFoss, my co-host. How's everyone doing? We're good. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a while. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. We just time. did that joke quiet before we started recording. Yep, just a banger <laughs> of an episode on 420. Go check that out. It's just hard to take you serious when you do an intro. Sorry. If you like porn, watch 420. Sorry. Throw back to the Last Ron year. confirmed beanbag Ron porn guy. Male aficionado. Yeah, listen, I mean, I had to get a new vice, so all right. We are doing um <laughs> that's a transition. <laughs> we're doing worst show bits. That is the uh Mount Rushmore today. Uh, and it's the month of hate. It's the month of hate. I brought on two notorious haters. Um <laughs> no, I, <laughs> really Excuse just one. Excuse me? No, we got a <laughs> very nice guy in Chris Methuen, and we brought on one pompous rich guy with an indoor pool. So I think this will make for a pretty good show. <laughs> what up? I'm the one with the pool, if you were wondering. <laughs> yes, you can see in his background. Um, okay. I think I was at a Chili's in that picture. <laughs> you should really get... You should you really get Chili's the- at your house, too? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty you should sick. really get the background of your 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 camera shot be an indoor pool, even if it's at the Y. You should really have that as the background. I've got I've got, I've got, I've got things, things in the works here, Chris. Don't worry about it. It needs to be I like some wait. really shitty like Motel Six indoor pool. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, that'd be great. Time for the wheel. <laughs> yeah, get it out yeah. that uh that couple. No, everything. Everything. I always. That's like my favorite thing about this show is when everybody stops talking at the same time. <laughs> oh, sure listen, we're not the only does. show with that. This is just an organic show. We don't have to buy views and do shit like that. Like all the new shows that are just showing up after mm-hmm. all the hard work was done for the network. Hey, so I wholeheartedly believe what uh, Fuss just said. Do we want to talk about that real quick before you spin the wheel or no? Or we yeah. just want to let them be the, the, the buyers of views? No, it's a month of date. I mean, it's kind of fucked up. Go ahead. We call that, I mean, we call that they're, loser. They're buying bro. views for a show on the network. I'm not even, uh, my show doesn't even go on the network and I'm not buying views. Credit to me. I have integrity. What, what <laughs> does buying views do, anyways, when it's only like 5,000? Like, are you getting anything in return or is it just for uh, clout, as they say? I don't know. I it's think you have clout. to have X amount of views to get monetized, but this is on somebody else's network. So that wouldn't even do anything for them. Yeah, but I think you also have to have, I think you also have to a certain amount of subscribers to get monetized versus sure. like, so like if you don't have a certain amount of subscribers and you get a hundred million views, I don't think you get monetized. I don't think it works like that. I think you have to have a certain Maybe. amount of subscribers for you, that. You, so, you're probably right. So credit to them. I mean, that show, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of glad it's back, but every single person on that show is a fucking dork loser. Well, I'll, I'll they, agree they, one guy's from one, 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 one guy's one guy's from North Dakota. That guy it sucks. Everything about him sucks. Yeah, but he's His a good guy. He's a sucks. farmer. Dude. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not, saying, I'm not I'm not I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but he sucks as a person. <laughs> Everything red, about him red, sucks. He sucks. Red, <laughs> red, red, red pretended to not exist for like a year. <laughs> and then Ziggy's wearing a mask. I actually kind of like Ziggy, but all right. Ziggy, uh, Ziggy said that they uh, they didn't buy the views, so maybe an outside force bought the views and is trying to bring the network down. Yeah, Ziggy, I don't I think know. They're I just trying Ziggy to copy that. GVE because that's what John and BA were accused. Yeah, of but doing that's so obvious. Like, why why do it? Like, yeah, it's man. Been, but they didn't yeah, man, do it. They it. said. They Could it be like an inside else. thing where like they're buying views to VD. get shut down, so people are talking about the show? It's a possibility VD bought the views for them. I wouldn't put it past. Yeah. Actually, I I wouldn't put it past VD to buy the views and not tell them that he bought the views. So then they well, they are being honest, saying we didn't do it, we don't know. And then he's sitting back, going, <laughs> "They got taken off the network because Menders doesn't want them buying views." <laughs> I can well, see if that. You initi- 
100%. if you initially remember, VD was supposed to be a part of the rundown again when it came back, right? Because I, I said no. That's why they wouldn't do it because they didn't want to do it. Why, that's why. Right, but he was supposed to be. Instead. It was, but he was supposed to be a part of it initially. Correct? Can we all well, agree on that? Kirk wanted. Kirk wanted right. that. Yes. Right. So. I reached out to VD like, hey, I'll go because VD was like asking people to be a part of it. And I, I DM VD. I was like, hey, I'll do it. He goes, you'll be a nice guest. And that hurt my feelings. And then, uh, <laughs> but I think that well, VD still has VD a, a part to play in this. Little people, big world guy. Remember that which, was. Yeah. Yeah. Recent. Which brings me back to this whole thing. VD is the orchestra of all of this. The whole reason Mick did what he did is because VD put it in his ear. And the whole oh, reason. <laughs> and the whole reason that. The, these Where guys got viewers because hour ago or three and, days and, ago, whenever you're shut going. up, and because VD <laughs> bought the viewers, <laughs> VD is the mastermind of all of this. So you think VD is trying to bring down the network, but he has a yes. show on the network. I think he he's trying to bring it down. Right? He he's trying well, to bring, bring down Menors show. and he's trying to bring down the network. You guys, you, you guys like, don't you guys don't know VD if you don't know that. He's can an you, agent of chaos. I'll give you that. Can you be like an innocent bystander and? just randomly buy a show of views or don't you have to like be the uploader to buy views? I don't know. The whole I, thing's very odd. I, I think you don't need to be anybody. You can just do it. I don't know how you would even go about doing it. Mind you. That's what I'm saying. It's like, sounds like black web was a dark web type shit. Yeah. It's the deep you web. should be able to figure out who bought them, right? The world wide web though. You said it's so the deep web. All right, let's get the wheel. Yeah, wheel it up. I, I feel like I made valid points. <laughs> no, VD. No it could have been VD. I mean, trying to bring down the show. Great point, Dr. Vodka. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Cool. You guys Excellent are input again by Vodka. Now go no, draw on yourself. I hope he lands you're first. So, you're so rich and smart and handsome. Thank Ron. you. Ron. <laughs> Good. Ron Ooh. has fucking 16, so that, that's perfect. Dude, what is wrong with this wheel? Is that lagging? I, I'm going to be honest. Else? I lied. I don't have anything. You've been Why doing is that this, all night. You did Why that is about this how wheel much? lagging? I don't know. Dude, this is a polished uh, product. Uh, don't despair. Uh, uh, TJ, TJ's wheel never fucking lags like this. Look at that. Look at that thing. Go. It's also got a Corona sponsor on it. I don't think we paid for this wheel. <laughs> it says close ad. You could have closed the ad. No, dude. We're good with Corona. Go, go get your Corona with the one. They've got the best uh, commercial at Christmas every year. I don't drink, so I don't support that. Let's redo the wheel. Go to another website. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're a part of that now. Wait, so what's the order? So it's me, Vodka, Foss, Chris, me, Chris. Uh, Chris, and then me. Okay. Number one overall. I got number one on my list. Uh, worst bits of the show, historically. Um, I'm going to say the Rico Bosco calls. I think That's those bits horrible. Suck. That's a horrible pick. First, yeah, wow, but... you're a horrible pick. That's Dude, a terrible. Uh, got, yo, you got me. I guess. Rico has all... great calls. Yeah, but, yeah, but even if he had the best calls in the world, and everybody hated them, that's still not the 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 one one. I'm about to hit you with the one one after this. Don't worry. Well, but McFlus <sighs> Daddy has to get us an order first. Go ahead, Rod. Defend defend yourself, buddy. Um. Yeah. It's just, when it's ill timed and it ruins like a, like a conversation like that and it ruins like the energy. Uh, I don't I don't like it. I don't know. And it's not funny and it just throws everything off. It is the well, only that, cause that I've ever been allowed to like break in consistently. Right. You're not you know you're I mean? not and you're on a different topic and he jumps in with uh whatever. Like a yeah, it's uh Chase Colony. Um, yeah, 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 and Cassie Chase Colony was funny. Was funny. You're not you're not making an infactual like what you're saying is true. The his calls most of the time, I'd say sixty percent sixty percent of the time suck. I just don't think it like you could have got that later, I think. Fair enough. All right. I uh, will uh I'll do better. Okay. You're Luck off. is next. Hey everybody. Uh thanks for tuning in. Thanks for making it this far. I uh, wanted to jump in here before Vodka makes his first pick and let you know that Vodka's views do not match the views of mine, Beanbag Ron's, the networks, or Mount Kirkmore's, or anybody. Anybody watching this, I'm sure, is gonna absolutely disagree with Vodka. He's an absolute one hundred percent drunk just from North Carolina. Um, I don't know 
why this is his pick. I don't know how he thought this was a good pick. I don't even know why he thinks he's right about this. I think we make fun of him for most of the episode. But just get yourself ready to hear just the absolute dumbest thing from one of the absolute dumbest people I've ever interacted with in my entire life. But we do appreciate you tuning in. Um, be back next week with some great stuff. Well, that wasn't the end. You didn't have to. That had to be that. Fine. All right. I fell on my sword. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I, I didn't expect you to do that that quickly. I guess I was too rude. Oh, fuck you. All, All right. right. Uh, my first pick is Kirk pretending he's going to kill himself. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm so tired of this. It's happened sure. since he started the show. Um. All the times he's gone to his mental hospitals. So the uh, killing himself started. But nobody, nobody's, the... nobody, nobody's ever seen him at his mental hospitals, which is fair because you know that's no, no that's not true. Uh, then the guy that asked him about Dave Portnoy was that one of the yeah, but that came from Kirk. So show me yeah. a picture. Oh. But okay. I mean, are we gonna are we now we sitting here denying that he went to the mental? Yes, hospital? I do. It's I do. I think, I think. That's I think. Insane. I think. It's that's a bit. The, the 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 whole thing of this is worse. The whole thing's a on bit. show bits. I'm yeah, but I'm tired of this. That's good for you. I think it's a bit. I think I think this is to get more followers. I don't believe him. It's for sympathy. That's kind yeah, of what I'm thinking. So do you think he likes like people reaching out to him all the time, being like, hey, I'm struggling with this, struggling I with that? If he think, was faking it, he'd be like, yeah. fuck, like, this sucks. I think it's an in-between. I think it's indifferent. I think he likes I that mean, sort of, and he sort of doesn't like it. He doesn't like it in person, but he likes it online. But he might not okay. have known that was going to happen. You know what I mean? It's not like he knew going into the, the, the ruse, if I'm going by vodka's assertion. He didn't know when he started it that he was going to have people reaching out to him. He was just trying to get out of a contract at EEI and get another job. So let me say I'm going to jump in front of a train. Yeah, but I don't mm. continue that like going forward. That is a committed uh, bit. The, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, jumping yeah, on the train. Yeah, well, you yeah. just you just confirmed that, that it's a bit jumping in front of the train. Uh, no, I'm a, saying, hey Kirk, a, hey Kirk, if you're listening to this, you could have got in front of a train. In. I'll believe you. You could have got. You guys ever only... once followed through on it? Has he ever once followed through on killing himself? He has, he has never done it's it. It's a bit. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a bit. Hmm. That's my pick. The, uh, That's my one one. The guy, um, it, Steve Steve Run is easy. He was uh, the comedian who faked that he was uh, in the World yeah. Trade Center and nine eleven. Yeah. He faked yeah, yeah. it for like twelve years. Pretty smart. And then it came out. So you that make was a, a whole bit. career off of that. Based on what that guy's life is world. fucking over too. So you know, it's his own damn fault. To be fair, that's a pretty good one one on my end. That's a so, terrible one. When it's not even a, it's, I mean, you can nobody would else would agree that that's a bit. Other than like, wasn't even on my list. Yeah, a, 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 as he killed himself. No, that's a, that's well, a bit. Yeah. Haven't killed that, that, that's my argument for then you. That, then that, that's a bit. And you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's uh, fine. It's a fine. It's a fine pick. You could. You definitely right. could have gotten it. Later. It was way better than yours, buddy. You, you could have gotten that way later. Time will tell. Is, is, so then, is it my turn? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I have a good one. Wait, it isn't your yeah, turn. Mom. It's not. It, no, it's Chris. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck! No, they, Jesus we never Christ, bro! Get it together. We, I said it at the it. beginning. I said it's me, vodka, Foss, Chris, and you guys were like, "Yep, nailed it." No, because Foss was no, last. We said, "Yeah." No, Foss I, was yeah, last. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Okay, Usually, Chris. you guys put the 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 can the the boxes in order, but you didn't do it this time. I don't. Know. I could. The boxes were late, uh, lagging. Oh wait. These boxes, yeah, you just drag it around. around. Yeah, how do I do that? <laughs> click on me and move me and vodka around. Welcome I mean, to the network here, boys and girls. Drag me over to where Fuss is, and then he'll go where I am. There All we right. go. There you, there you go. can do that. Okay, so this works too. <laughs> yeah, next, so, yeah, my pick. Yeah, so my least favorite bit is a, a relatively new one, it's the it's my 49th year, so I'm going to tell people I'm 50 for two years. Mm, great. That, that is a good That's pick. my least favorite thing. That is – that's a very well, good pick. Well, Chris, Chris may win now. Yeah, yeah that's a way better yeah, pick yeah, than fuck. whatever you picked. Yeah, it's All okay. right. Plus, oh Jesus God. Christ. Ron – what is, I don't even Ron, remember Ron, what Ron, Ron picked. This is a bit. Yours is just made up. I, that's that's a, Ron, no, it's Ron not made up. That's a bit. All right, whatever. That's a good Chris, Ron, that is just so like a high school girl. girl. Yeah, he's acting like a freaking high school girl doing like two years worth of birthdays. He's going to have a big sign on the next one, like standing on the top of the bar. Now, this is coming from a guy who is currently celebrating his birth month because I was born in January, and I say all month long that it's my so birthday. Chris, so, Chris, how old is he? 
He's 49. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that drives me nuts too. And it shouldn't. It doesn't but drive it does. me nuts. I think it's funny. That's kind of why I, you, I so, didn't even think You think, think that's about. funny? What is funny? A, li- a, a little bit. Because he, he, he won't let go of it. Yeah, oh, I guess. Oh. I was just like, oh. I don't like Whatever. it. Kind Great of picks me off. I thought it was a good one. All right, so I, I still think it's a good nope. pick. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good pick. That's a, that's the best pick so far at three. It just doesn't annoy me, I, but it's a good pick. Yeah, um, yeah, you said the bar pretty high for that. It wasn't on my <laughs> list of 16. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Yeah, Ron, Ron's going to get fucking body bagged here. I am. I am. This happened last week, too. I, I, I've, I've become the worst fucking picker on the show. You get slumps. You'll you come back. Yeah, that's true. All right, go ahead. All right. Uh, my, I guess my first one is going to be uh, that Coleman is a good producer. That's a shitty bit. He sucks at producing. He can't fight. He, the YouTube always sucks. Um, that audio has been lower <laughs> since Dave has left. Like, sometimes I listen in the oh. shower and, like, my speaker isn't loud enough. Like, I don't know. So, I don't so know. So, yeah. Coleman's fault you don't charge your speaker? My speaker's fully charged. It stays uh, on the uh, thing. You took one of my picks. Your speaker stinks. Um, you, took, you took one of my picks, sort of, based on what you just said there. The audio you, su- I, you know what I'm going to say? I don't think any of you guys are going to fit. The audio fucking sucks, and I'll just relate. Hey, Fuss Daddy, I'll just go with you. The audio fucking sucks now. Every but, like, you could, I don't know where to turn it up in my car. I don't know where to turn it up in my headphones. No matter where I'm at, I don't know where the fucking volume's supposed to be because I can't hear anybody in different spots. And then those fucking ads come through and they'll blow your brains out. Like Jim Gaffigan. Oh, so brutal. Is that a Coleman thing or is that a Barstool thing? Wait, Kirk said to put them at the end of the episode. I thought that was a I thought that was a bit. (laughs) Yeah, they they actually did start putting them at the end, which was great. Like, I mean, no, is it then your ears didn't get blown out. Yeah, but Wait. the audio, regardless, the audio levels is not a is like what you're. I think what you're saying is not like that's an actual problem. Yeah, are you talking no, about on the podcast app? Or are you talking about on YouTube? Because I usually both. just listen on YouTube. Both, both, dude, they're both bad. Okay, but they don't pump in those mid-show ads on YouTube. On Spotify, it's better. But if you listen yeah. on YouTube, you can't fucking <laughs> hear people sometimes. Yeah, it's and but- it, it's fucking brutal. Yeah, Foss, I do agree with you. He does get a lot of shine for I don't know why. Um, You're not I think wrong. his drops I think his drops kind of stink too. He was never a real producer on any podcast other than uh uh fucking what's her face's mom's name. Mother knows best. Content. That was the that was the o- content Kim. It was the only show he's ever actually the producer of the show. Right. And so so I don't understand why he's getting all this praise. He, well, was, he, was was a, he, he, he was a cameraman. And, <laughs> yeah, he was a producer. And, people don't know this. He was a producer and a cameraman of stool scenes at one point also. Well, it's just because he's better than Gus, so he's getting all the praise. Yeah, but like he was on... I think that's where he's getting the praise from because he was like a producer of stool scenes slash editor for like two weeks before he got fired. Yeah. I don't know. He sucks, though. Well, I think the bar is so high. Produce, bar he's producing stuff. He's producing stuff. So that so again, even, like, plus. him being the worst producer would make him good here, and it's just not showing. But that's a good pick. Go ahead. Next Pe- people pick. are saying there's a reason he was laid off. Yes. Yep. Um, all right. My second pick, I'm going to go um, with that Kirk was writing a book. I don't think there's ever a page written of that book that he used to tease us about. You're 100% about on that one. 100%. That's no pretty chance. good. That's no pretty chance. good. Yeah. Although I would love to read it if he did write it, but I don't think he. Yeah, no, it. that's a good pick. He, he just definitely... looked in his brain. Yes, I, I was just gonna say that it was all in thought. I think a good thought. I think it was a bit from the start. He'd sell more than came. He would Marcus. always say he was working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm on the first page. I be- yeah, I believe he had like a paragraph. <laughs> a paragraph. My name is Kirk Minahan. I used to work <laughs> at WEI and I went to Barstool. I think that's part of it. <laughs> and it got me a good job he, he's gonna like he's gonna argue this oh i was a good writer one time one time that's not what you are anymore big dog he was a good writer of hockey cards for upper deck yeah, he also wrote it yeah i never read it though that was before my time neither did i yeah 
I don't think well, I don't think anybody. I, mean, read I don't believe there. I did. I read some <laughs> yeah, stuff on com. I don't think I ever read a Kirk Minahan one. Well, that I, that, I don't think that's a bit because I don't think he ever pro- proclaimed that anybody read his articles. But I don't think anybody read his shit. Well, com was never a big go read all the fucking articles thing. If you, if you guys haven't gotten this, all my shit is a, attacking him. So. Well, we know that's you're kind of what the yeah. topic is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just figure out your shit, Kirk. Get these figure that out when you when you made up your first pick. Get, get your fuck, is, is, get these fucking losers out of this fucking podcast so I can have fun again. Is is it me next now because we're going back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, can I, I'm going to build off of um, McFuss Daddy's hate of Coleman, and I'm someone that I I wanted Coleman to get the job, but um, that stupid fucking Harry Potter uh, abortion, <laughs> I hate that. The Avadika, the Avadika Dabra with like, the, oh, yeah, that terrible. is, that is of it. pretty bad. Two good picks by me. Thank you. I, I get, I get where he's coming from. Cause he wanted to do like a Steve thing, but it's, it's yeah. so bad. Give us somebody getting shot or like somebody getting kneeled on until they or do something, something completely oh. different. Somebody or, getting or, their neck kneeled on. That would be topical. Yeah. I mean, so anything's better than fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> you know, I agree. Imagine it's just like well, a deep throat you, sound. <laughs> you don't. You don't even have to do a sound. Just fucking hang up and be like, "I didn't Wrong like that guy." Porn on the brain. You don't, have, yep. you, you don't have to. You don't have to do an abortion sound. Just be like, "I didn't like that guy." I fucking up, hung up on him. Instead of an abortion, just do like a facial. Like that. that like, wouldn't uh, that be better if Kirk was like, "Why? Like, where, where'd that guy go?" It's like I fucking hung up. Hung up on him. Yeah. You could do a fart noise. And His comedic instinct, instincts are awful. They're just the not drop, good. Some of the drops are okay, but his drops are I just, good. I, I don't think they're bad drops. I just don't know if that's like because of age or it's just like how he just doesn't really get his drops compared to humor. Colonnade's no drops are are gold, but compared I, to good drops are just okay. I think he either talked to Cullinane and Steve or the Minif- some Minifans fans and was like, "Be better at drops," and he was like, "He's got that in his brain now." I think that's what happened. Could yeah, be. Be. the drops are an art. You gotta. It's timing and what's funny. And he's pretty good at him. I don't think he's bad. So you think? Yeah, I think he'll get better. To to go from Cullinane, obviously he's Kirk has talked about it before. He's he, well, who didn't do them at all. Basically, it's better. It's better. <laughs> Cullinane only did drops when asked. Yeah. On the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cully, do well, do what, a drop. And one there. Q too. It'd be like, and and what did so and so say? And then he would guess and get the wrong one. And I thought that was around. funny, though. Yeah, that was a bit. It was a bit. Yeah, that was a good bit. All right. So good I'm bit. next. I'm next, right? Yep. Yes. Uh, my next pick is Kirk pretending to not know people's names. Uh, yep. Fuck yeah. That's I'm on my so list. tired of that fucking oh. shtick. He's done it. He did it at WEI. I've yep. listened to those old things. I'm so tired. Like it's the most played out thing. He stole that from Stern. So Jerry too. Let it such a let it go, buddy. Let it fucking go. We know who you know. You're talking about who? Who's that girl the that sings? Right in right in front right, of you. Shut the fuck up. Okay, we get it. You know who you know. You're talking about. Just yeah. let the fucking pretending you don't know. You're not Howard yeah. Stern. You'll never be Howard Stern. So let it go, because yeah, that's where it started I, from. Yeah. Who's the other guy on my uh, trivia team? Who? Who? Oh, Quigs. Oh, Quigs. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Sick bit, buddy. That's never made me laugh once. Okay. So fucking yeah. stop doing it. That drives me fucking insane. That's a great per- pick. <laughs> Mike is angry about this one. I don't he, like it. Don't he, worry. The next the next one's coming up, and I don't like that shit either. Kirk makes me mad every does, day. So now you got mad about it. his first one sucked so bad to come up with that <laughs> yeah. one now. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the best pick yet. Yeah, people say that one all the time on like Twitter and stuff like that. But yeah, that was a good second pick. Like It's, uh, it's exhausting. You're up, Ron. Good uh, three. <laughs> Shit, now I'm now my picks kind of fucking suck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Don't say Kelsey Monroe. <sighs> um, all right, I will go. I will go. Pat Ford being good on the show. <laughs> Pat Ford is boring. You're you're gonna get fucking dumped for this. You're definitely not winning. No, I think this is the best pick so far. Pat Ford fucking sucks. He does yeah, I, I don't, I don't get why people bone him on the show. Stand. I don't, I don't think stand. it's a funny bit. I, I, I don't know. I'm a Ford stand. 
The fact that you don't get it makes this a bad pick. I mean, what is it to get? Vodka, you're on an island here. Because he's not good, which makes him good. Right, but it's a yeah. Bit. But just because someone's not good doesn't automatically make them good. They, there's usually a little yeah, more to it. He's pretty, and I don't have good. anything against Pat Ford. It's just that he's he's really low energy and doesn't hardly ever add anything to any of the conversation. Even not even just on the show, but on Twitter, it's it's, it's the same thing. Why, why why do you think he keeps getting brought up by those people and on Twitter? Because Kirk likes him. That he's the the. It's not the, the, best, the ultimate zero, the, the total zero. That's what he called them. And I mean, if, why it was yeah, this fan was base, if you haven't popular. picked up on the fact that this fan base will by and large go whole hog on whatever Kirk says, then I don't know what show you're listening to, because that's that's exactly what every well, what I, well do. then then I then I might be in the minority because I thought it was I thought that was the bit pretending to like him. I think it is now you're maybe, pretending maybe it is, and it, maybe I've been incepted. But I think you're getting. Thing, I think though. you're getting accepted. Maybe, here's the thing, maybe. though. He goes on the show, and the show isn't good with him on it. So I don't get why people bone him, and then it, it, he comes on more and more. So I don't like the bit. because Kirk says he likes him, and then right. they say they like him because Kirk likes him. But I thought Kirk was being sarcastic when he said that. So it's all an inception. Correct. Well, so Kirk has I, one, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, I just, I just put you guys on a blender. I think. <laughs> no, I think you got blended. Yeah, I think, I, I, think, think I, I think I got blended. You just said you pretend to like him. Yeah, no, Are I, you I don't know. The I stand, but that, you pretend, but he's I, good. Either way, good. I don't know. Yeah. Either, either way, good day, Pat Ford. Yeah. Bad day, Pat Ford. Bad, yeah, bad day. All right, Ron, you get to go again. All right, my third pick. I will do. Um, I'll do. The little people, big world caller. Uh, you don't like him? No, I, I just skip through it every time. It's always like fucking nine and a half minutes or something. <laughs> and it's just, I don't watch the show. I don't care. It's just, it's something I, that I like Kirk is interested in and likes. And Kirk, I'll give him credit, doesn't give a fuck what anyone else thinks. So he just rides with it and it drives me fucking nuts. So. He's like a billboard chart guy, but I, I like both of them. The, um, but I could see why you don't, especially if, if you don't watch the show, but you kind of keep up with it like that. Yeah, but, oh, so like when he calls in, you're like, nice. Like I'm going to saddle up and listen to this. Yeah, I'm like, fuck yeah. Now, now right, I don't well, have to watch Little People Big World because this guy's going to wrap it up for me in a succinct little bow. Chris, Chris gets it. Ron, you just don't get the show, like Vodka said. I well, I know. Did I say? I don't that? know. I don't care about the roll-offs. I don't care about the fucking little people or the big world. Look, I, I, Ron, I, Ron, I'm there with you. I'm there with thank you. you. But thank I'm you. not really there with you. All right, well, fuck yourself. Okay. Next pick. <laughs> yeah. so who's next after Ron? It goes back it's to a, vodka. It, it's me. It's me. Um, so this is an older one. This goes back to Steve Robinson. Steve pretending to care about what Kirk was talking about when he really only wanted to talk about politics. <laughs> That's yeah. gonna I, be I, I, that. so. I, I didn't I like, like it back in the day when you could like <laughs> actually hear in Steve's voice when he was talking about topics, and he, he was like he had no fucking clue what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> he just would say things to Kirk and Kirk would talk about it and then he would maybe chime in because he's not a fucking moron and so he could have an actual conversation. But that guy didn't want to talk about anything. Like he left Howie Carr to come to this and he was like, "Uh, oh, this is fucking brutal. And I, yep. I I didn't like that. I didn't like that bit for two years. And that's like <laughs> he fucking blew up and fucking, fucking traveled the country like a crazy person. When he had a fucking very great job. That which is why he comes back now. I don't know. It's the fucking the best worst bit that's ever existed. So I might be fucking myself with this one, but I didn't. Yeah, like I, did, I didn't hate like, the bit. I didn't like. I I didn't like that he just pretended for year two years. He's a great bullshitter. Yeah. No. I I don't know. I'm gonna lose based on that pick, but I. I mean, are we giving <laughs> points on these? I didn't know that there were winners and losers, but it'll eventually go up. And there's season. always a winner and loser, Chris, yeah. somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm dominating. <laughs> so, did, did we come yep. back to me yet? Because I am yeah, actually winning. Chris, you're up. Yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna pick this. This is a, a bit of a stretch, but I think I'm, I think I got it. I think I can explain it then. Um, 
my one of my third least favorite thing, least favorite bit is the bit where the same 14 people are that you're a hater and you're in the same 14 people if you have any disagreement with anything Kirk ever says. If you ever disagree with Kirk, you're automatically yeah. labeled a hater, and then you're there's only 14 or 28 or 25 of those people, and you're one of them. That's a good that, pick. Oh, you're one of them. Yeah. That bit is that's people have our, we have our own minds. We're not all just some sick of cold rider dick suckers. Yeah. yeah, Kirk. Kirk remember one group chat that called the thirteen, and he never let that go. Uh, Chris, that you what? got lumped into that too. You're not a hater. You and Pat were lumped into that. It, that's how it goes. They're the druggies. That, that's that's why I bring it up. Well, that's don't don't steal my next one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, never mind. Don't worry, Wait, I wasn't you, gonna pick it. No, that's can you a, name good a couple pick. examples. Just curious. Curse is on fire. Uh, what'd you say, Ron? Do you just name a couple examples? Just curious. I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but um. so okay, I'll give you one example, and it's personal to me. Way back in the beginning of the show, they used to always have the show up, or say they would have the show up at 11 a.m. Right. Yeah, I tweeted out one day when it was super late. It was like almost two o'clock, and I was leaving for where I was working second shift at the sh second shift at the time. And I went, I always listen while I'm driving, so I was like, "Where's the show?" It's obvious Kirk doesn't care about his fans, and the show's not out. And it was kind of a half like tongue in cheek, blah blah. blah. And then I got the response of, uh, "Does this guy even listen to my fucking show? He must be one of these guys." And that's where that that's where that came from. Although I also did get Kirk to respond to me saying, uh, what was it? Something about this is why I hate people or something like that. I forget what that tweet, that original tweet was, but. Ah, that hurts. Hater. Yeah. Hater forever. Yeah. So it's tough to be on two that side. Flip comments made me a hater. That, that Those are my examples. That's, that's fair enough. One yeah, time, two, two, two is way too far. You went too far. <laughs> you're, bad. you're a bad person. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Right. You've always been a bad was, person. The show I, was I late and I, and I the show was late and I said something about it, but when Kirk makes that joke to Mick and Mick gets mad, then it's Mick's fault. Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> Just want some consistency. <laughs> yeah. Real quick before we go to Fuss Eddie, we're gonna have honorable mentions, right? No. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> dishonorable message. Not not this episode. Yeah, this dishonorable. Episode. Yeah. yeah, no, we can do honorable mentions. Um, I thought you only had like four. I figured them out. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> the, the list has grown since we started. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, I start. Right. I, I did you hear how angry I got? I started thinking of things. We can do uh, the. Uh, never mind. Plus, just go, go. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go with that. Dave was depressed after Plymouth. There's That's no way. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were no depressed one. after Kirk yelled at him. Yes, but not because of Portland. That's pretty good. Yeah, he felt That's bad. He was good. in trouble at work, but that was probably yeah. about it. And he hit the Jonas Brothers and everything. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was that one stuff. got me. I'm that so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was um, good. That was if good. Kirk didn't yell at him and everything like in Kirk's mind went fine, I don't think he would have been depressed. You're, you're right. Yeah, no. That's great. I mean, the, the screen was fine. What do you mean? <laughs> the, the people didn't need to hear it. It was fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got their money. It's fine. That was, so that, that was a Steve trait too, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. It broke Steve it. down. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> I like, that. That was a good one. <laughs> I like that one. Let's see. I got to go again. Um, all right. My fourth and final one is that Klimmer was at all interesting or funny or talented whatsoever because Klimmer fucking sucks. Like that might, everything ooh. about him. That might win okay. you the whole thing right there. Okay. Maybe. Just, just hate Klimmer. There's <laughs> been plenty of other great third chairs, like people that rotate in, come in and out, and like just Klimmer just, just jumped yeah, everybody like, and goes straight to Barstool and doesn't even acknowledge us anymore. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Is yeah. it more that the jump to Barstool or is it you never liked him? 
I, I liked him a little bit. I we, when we I met him at Magnolia and like didn't like it. He he weirded me out just the way he looked. But um, <laughs> he got and, uh, <laughs> well, well, that's not fair to him. That's well, the I mean, way he looks. Well, that's the, the way, way he looks. looks. I don't know. Weirded me he out. He got mad at me looks. in Magnolia because I had his wife on video. Did he? And he yeah, well, he's there were ninety people around. It was un, nothing un, untort. Nobody but. would know who she was. Chris, you're the infamous 420 show. That's why. <laughs> that I think that is why. That is the why. show where they play it audio. It was a gotcha porn. moment. It was another gotcha moment. <laughs> Fucking put porn on the screen. But no, then he jumped to bars. I ruined Ron's night by doing that. He's been fucking <laughs> addicted ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of addiction, that leads me to my pick. Yeah. My fourth yeah. and final. Um, the idea that anyone who's ever smoked a joint or done anything in the realm of recreational drugs is a druggie. I don't like that bit. It doesn't fit. Druggy, uh, people who smoke aren't lazy. Go and using Gus as your your barometer for that is is not the way to go. He would be fucked up whether he smoked weed or not. Um, <laughs> the weed helps. Intelligent him. people yeah. use that. It doesn't make you a druggie. Mm. I don't like that bit. It's probably my weakest pick of the night, but it's the one I'm going with. It's another self serving one, and I'll keep it. That's a fair fourth pick. Um. Yeah, I yeah, went by because now he. Yeah, because he looks at someone like John and Scranton, who's like pretty fucking good at what he does as a druggie. You're right. He labeled him as that. Well, so, there, the, the there problem are, is that <laughs> that's not a great example. John uh, I, John kind of put himself in that position. By what? John's a little more than a weed guy. Oh. Well, maybe not now, but he put himself well, in he that was, position he was. back then. Back then. We're talking min cell intel days, Ron. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So that just went against your pick. That's that's fine. I'm using again. It was very self serving. Speaking of me, no, it was a good pick. Phone. I mean, it's just an age. Well, no, I mean you're you're older than Kirk, or no, you're younger than Kirk. You're yeah, but you're barely Kirk. younger than Kirk. Yeah, but I was going to say we're it's an age Maybe. I would say. Wait, in real age or fake fifty age? Well, if he's really 49... <laughs> that, that was so, so lame. <laughs> that was so lame. All right. He was born in 74. I was born in 76, but, you know, different times of year. And wow. times of day. And times of day, most likely. As far as you know. Uh, yeah, true. You guys have been born at the same time of day. True. Same exact time. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I is think it he was there. Hey, Buck, you're up for your I'm last up. one. I'm nervous okay. for my last one. Fuck. So it's just in show bits. It doesn't have to be Kirk, obviously, because we've just we kind of shit on him. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. Made, yeah, you made stuff up and okay. Well, well, and I, I, went I, after I Coleman too. So yeah, true. It's okay. a month so ahead. I, so, I, so I went after Kirk. Um, my what last one is gonna go after our best friend Sneakers here. Oh. Ooh. And I'm gonna go the worst in show bit because Kirk brings him up kind of regularly now because he thinks he's his friend but sneakers pretending to hate the show by actually liking the show is a very old bit and i'm so tired of it mm. this guy is on twitter every day this guy calls me at work six o'clock like he, he literally calls my phone because i don't hate the guy but he like he calls me at six o'clock in the morning because i make mentioned his name on meeting of the minds like this guy is locked into this and I, I'm so tired of him pretending to hate the show when he knows everything about it. And and people tell me they, they meet him in person. And I know you guys are all scared right now. They meet him in person. He's very, he, <laughs> I've he's never met very, him. He's very nice. I've met him. And they're very, and, they're, met and him. he's nice to them in person. So I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of his little Twitter bit. So I just wish he'd be himself. If he's a nice person, be a nice person because it's old. Play it out. Can, what if he's Fuck just can I tell you as somebody, can I tell you as someone that's met sneakers several times? Um, he breaks my balls in person, just like he would on Twitter. Yeah, but then I, I'm sure he's pretty nice to you right after, right? No, he's just like normal. Yeah, he. What are you talking about? I mean, I've never met him in person. I'm going, guys. So this people is my... expect. Hey, 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 fr him. hey, friends. Hey, friends. This is my pick. So I don't know no, this motherfucker. I, know. I actually don't think it's a bad pick, because but this guy shits shits on the show. Nah, yeah, it's stop. not a bad. And it's then, not and a then, bad. And then, pick, and then but, talks about everybody. You don't listen to the show. You're you don't, you're not a Mina fan. 
And then for fucking two years, he shit on Mena fans. Don't chastise me about this pick because you guys know him in real life, okay? But, but no, no one's. But I think he's a nice person in real life, which also validates what I'm saying. He's a we fucking all agree loser. Hey, no, wait. He's a fucking loser. He's always been a That's loser. He'll always be a loser. Do. It comes a yeah. call. See, here we go. <laughs> Look um, at you back! Look at you back away! You guys are scared. He, hey, yeah, he, I mean, hey, he snakes! Was he was snakes! Terrible hey, snakes! Our you're show. a pussy. He you'll always be a pussy. He snakes, you're a pussy. You'll always be a pussy. Grow up, <laughs> Peter Pan. Nobody cares that you're you're, my, you're popular on Twitter. Nobody cares that Kurt brings you up sometimes. Vodka is. <laughs> yeah, he won't let us get a word in, dude. The biggest haters of a show probably listen the most. Is that like not a thing? Or is it a bit? I don't know. Does he actually like the show, or is he just like shitting on it? I don't know. I'm the biggest big guy there is, so I'm definitely sure. listens. Yeah, I'm I, back. I feel in the like blender. he enjoys breaking the balls of Mina fans, and it, it works. And I feel like oh yeah, we just got I got. How about this? I got defensive that you guys dismissed me so quickly. We, no, we didn't. Should. I just wanted to <laughs> clarify. My you're fucking psychopath. Psychopath. Jesus Christ. Christ! I am a psychopath. What, 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 what do you think you're talking about, buddy? It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ron, can you pick and we can wrap this up? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um. <laughs> hmm. All right. I will do. Uh, Steve from Gloucester hating Gus. You think that's a bit? Yes. I think everything Steve from Gloucester does is a bit, so I don't disagree with that. Yeah. Like literally I, everything yeah. does. That guy sucks. Yeah, like, I just like don't. I, I think it's played out. I don't. And if he actually doesn't like him, like what? Like, dude, I don't know. Like, there's more to life than to fucking hate this associate producer. <laughs> I don't know. Just, well, I mean, he, producer. Well, every episode he's been on, he said. All right, good. Yeah, see if I could. Yeah, that, that might work out. Yeah, that might. Yeah, uh, that was intentional. Um, no, I just. Uh, <laughs> Give it a rest, Stephen Gloucester. He's a nice guy. He came on here. I like him, but I don't like that bit. That bit stinks. That's, that's a good pick, Ron. That's a good one to Thank you. round it out. Round it out. I just thought of a good um, honorable mention bit. What you got? Sure. By all so means, sir. My my good honor, honorable mention bit is that is it's not a bit by the – it's a bit by the Mina fans. All, not all the Mina fans. Most of the Mina fans – and it goes back to the buying into whatever Kirk says. So, like, if Kirk likes Rico Bosco, sorry, everybody likes Rico Bosco. Kirk gets mad at Rico Bosco. Fuck that guy. You hear, yeah. by and large, from the Mina fans and things like that. That bit that the fans all do, being that that suck up that sicker fan to prove how good a fan they are by believing exactly right. and flip flopping the way his mood goes. That bit I don't like. Great point. And to to your point, uh, with the whole Stephen Shea thing, he was like, fuck Stephen Shea. I'm Everyone went after guy. him. And I fucking, de- I like semi defended him, if you can even say that. And Kirk fucking hated that. He called me like a contrarian asshole on the show or something. And why, like, there's no reason to fucking hate Stephen Shea. Yeah, he fucking got you off the show, whatever. He's not like a real life enemy. But so the, in, in that moment where the, you know, I know it wasn't, when it happened but that's when it was released right so that's when you you react i can understand the for a short time saying yeah i fucked that guy blah blah blah. he voted me off the show or whatever yeah i understand that for a short time because it's not real it was part of the fucking survivor thing and it happened months ago and if it was real hate you would have been talking about it for months and we all know you don't have that kind of self-control to not talk about it if it was real but like you said, like the the Justin, like the rat thing, like it was just like, all right, yeah. like give it a rest, guys. Like this guy's not gonna fucking cave into you. So that's that's a good honor mention. Um, Vodka, what uh, were you saying before you just bailed? I didn't bail. My my uh, mic cord came out. My cat pulled it out. My bad. Oh, I thought you fell in the pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my indoor pool. Yeah. Wish he did. Uh, so I've got a couple. I don't remember what I was saying, to be fair. Because I was so. Uh, what was my, oh the Steve from Gloucester thing? Oh yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know what you guys said after I pulled it out because it pulled me out of the whole thing. So what'd you guys say about him? Oh, nothing. What you got? Yeah, what you got? Uh, Kirk talking about running. 
is one of my honorable mentions. <laughs> I don't give a fuck that you run, buddy. Like nobody, nobody gives a fuck that you run. I, I brought this up to when John from Scranton was going in from the producer search. I said, please bring up that nobody fucking cares about you. Good for you. You run. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. He's Go run, hip, hip <laughs> He's run, run your to... way into traffic. Hey, you know that, that fucking train you're talking about? Run your way to that. Nobody fucking cares that you run. There's one. Um, uh, that other Kirk bit you were talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, Julie thinking she's valuable or Julie talking about her job. I don't like that. She makes a good uh, living. I don't, I don't like that. That's a bit. <laughs> that might be a bit. She's a whore. <laughs> I, 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 guess it, I guess it might not be. She probably believes that. Um, what else do I have? Uh, I got one that Vodka doesn't have a. I right, go ahead, Fuzz. I'm done. Vodka doesn't have a. Uh, what is it? Camera. Well, that's yeah. That's, that's yeah. a bit. That's, that's a, a bit, yeah. yeah. It's a bit. Bit. That's a bit, but not for the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not a show bit, but that is a bit. Yeah, true. Facts. Well, it technically is a show bit, but not this show. Uh, not whatever. that show, this show. What, what? Or actually multiple shows. Any multiple Anywhere shows. we see Dr. Vodka, we see this picture instead of his camera. It's a bit. It is a bit. Yeah, so I had, uh, I had Billboard Shark Guy calls, um, the show games. <laughs> oh, I hate this guy. I hate his calls. <laughs> Oh, so it's a, it, the same thing as Little People Big World. I wish he'd fucking never call it again. Yeah, Kirk not knowing Barstool people. Josh being an intern. Um, <laughs> Kevin from Bristol hate. Um, that's blind a good Mike, one. Blind that Mike dinner one. caller. Um, that is the worst fucking bit. What you don't like um, steak and couscous? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, Boston Radio Watch. <laughs> I hate that motherfucker. That, that, one, that, that guy. guy's terrible. What's annoying is he's getting so bad that Kirk wants him to call. <laughs> he's got to keep calling. Uh, Trung being a show character. Yeah. Um, I feel like producer. that's gone away. Yeah, that that's dead. Yeah, that was in my uh, that was number twelve. Producers being productive. <laughs> that is. Um, Booking unachievable guests. That's a that actually could have been a good, pretty good pick. Like Kirk pretending that he hired these guys for them to be good, knowing they're not going to be good. That could have been a good pick. I like the booking un- yeah. unattainable guests because if if it's what I think you mean by like when you, oh yeah, President Clinton, yeah, get him, book him. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. I don't know. That ma- that makes yeah. me chuckle. Yeah, that was a Dave. <laughs> I don't know. That made me chuck. That made me chuckle a lot. Well, yeah, so it, Kirk still yeah, tries to do it, true. but he doesn't know who to ask. <laughs> Tell me that in my pool, of pussy. <laughs> uh, the last one I had was um. Oh, I thought I just lost. Um, playing the Mean Girls sound. Yeah, that, um, so that's actually brutal. a good pick. I'm so yeah. tired of that. That was never good. Never. I, good. I I thought it was below Kirk to deal with them like that. I just don't understand why he's so interested in it. I don't I, think he's he all Coleman. I think he's attracted to him. That's what I, I think. think. Well, yes, it's obviously, big. but I think that's where it stems from. I think he thinks they're hot and he wants to talk to them. Yep, that's right. He's just looking to get laid. But all right, and they're doing live shows. <laughs> and shit and... Bus does not want this smoke right now. <laughs> Bus is no, tired, dude. He's done. Tired. <laughs> it's it's like, a great show, fellas. Calling his name. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll be back next week, maybe with Kirk. Depending on if he comes on uh, <laughs> after this, on <laughs> I probably just fucked you guys. But... Yeah, thank hey, you. It's a month of hate. It is what it it's is. A month of hate. It's a month of hate. It's from it's from a place of love. That's place right. Of love. Hate yeah. comes from love. Yep. Yeah. All, All right, right, boys. Later, boys. Thanks. Yep.